Prince Harry's bombshell memoir was released on Tuesday which saw some eager royal fans queuing at midnight to be the first to get their hands on a copy. A number of revelations have been made in the memoir about his relationship with his older brother Prince William, his feelings about King Charles' marriage to Camilla, and his time in the military. Other shocking tales which have been included the Duke's experience of losing his virginity in a field behind a pub, and having a frostbitten penis. It appears that the 38, year, old royal continued to discuss the more salacious details of his life by describing a secret sexcapade with Meghan Markle during the early days of their relationship. According to the royal, he was left breathless as he waited outside of Ms. Markle's hotel room. The pair began dating in 2016, which saw them engage in a long, distance relationship due to their work commitments. In spare, Harry revealed the couple had a steamy reunion in a hotel room at Soho House in London after spending weeks apart. In the summer of 2016, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex had been together for almost two months. The passionate London reunion occurred on the anniversary of Princess Diana's death after Harry and William laid flowers at their mother's grave at Althorpe. In a bid to keep the privacy of their relationship, Meghan told Harry to meet her at her hotel by using a secret entrance via the freight lift. When he arrived, Harry then met Meghan's friend Vanessa, who took him to Meghan's room. Her arms were reaching for me, she pulled me inside and thanked her friend in one fluid motion, then slammed the door quickly before anyone saw, Harry wrote in his book. He added, I want to say we hung a do not disturb sign on the door. But I don't think there was time. When the pair were visited by room service the following morning, Harry was forced to hide under the covers, his preferred hiding place instead of the bathroom where Meghan told him to go. While Meghan spoke with the assistant manager of the hotel who delivered breakfast, Harry explained that he was starting to run out of air in his debate cave. The London reunion followed the pair's romantic holiday to Botswana which then saw Harry go off on a long holiday with his friends. Meghan sent the royal a text message while he was laying flowers at Diana's grave to say she was in London to see him again. The Duke returned to London with his older brother and then set off for his secret rendezvous with Meghan. The royal family have been praised for refraining to comment on the claims in the book.